Now, I want to be very clear about what I'm going to say in this video. So don't go twisting things around. I don't want to see no BS. We're not twisting things around here. You better listen to what I'm saying and stop feeling attacked by the way you might feel off of some of the things I might say. Just listen to the words of what I'm actually saying. As I titled this video, women are not loyal. Wake up. This is true. Women are not loyal. And you and I and everybody else have to be all right with this because it is what it is. They are not loyal. It's not that they can't be loyal. They can be but they're not hardwired to be loyal just because. Because things happen. Things absolutely happen. You could be perfect to her and she could still leave. Things could be incredible and she could still leave. That's the thing. You never know. So how you have to start to live your life is you're going to create the best life you can possibly live. Stop thinking a partner has to be involved or else this or else that. Like you have to create the best life that you can live. And women are going to come to you. And you are going to pick and choose whether you want to take her on, whether you want to get some stuff going on with her. It could be great. It might not be great. You just never know. But stop thinking like a dumbass. Oh my God, I'm going to get her and she's going to be loyal and all this because it's just the, not the reality of how things are. It's not that there's a 0% chance it happens because things can happen. Things can work. But what I'm saying is they are not hardwired to just be loyal just because. They're just not. Women are hardwired to get their needs met through men. So if she feels like her needs are not being met, she can leave. So that means they're not loyal. Because if she was loyal, she would not leave. She is going where she can get her needs met. This don't make them bad, awful people. Not that there's not bad apples. But this is how they are. One day could come and she could leave you at any time. And you are a blue pill beta male simp. If you don't think that in your mind and you're going to be flabbergasted. If you don't think that, if you don't think that it is possible, I promise you, you're going to get lit. You're going to get torched, pal. You're going to get absolutely torched. The fact that you're that blue pill, that you, it doesn't even run through your mind that she could leave. Goes to show how unaware you really are. Even if things are good, she still could. Because maybe she could get something better. Maybe she could. And they will. If there's a much better situation for her, even if he were really good, she will take it. I've been on the better end of these types of things, but I have seen Things you would not imagine. Actually, a lot of you probably wouldn't be too surprised, but I've seen a lot of things. I got drilled when I was younger, and now, for the last years, I've seen terrible things happen to other men. I've seen women come to me when they have husbands, when they have boyfriends, and a whole bunch of other crazy stuff. And I'm telling you, bro, this, this is the animal kingdom of humans that we live in. 
This is reality. You are living in a fairy tale. If you don't, if these things don't cross your mind, if you don't think it's this way, no, it's not that way. You're an idiot. I hope you know that. You are a dumbass. Because things can happen. Not that it will 100%, but you have to, you just have to know. That's all. I'm not saying trip out 24 7, be looking at her like this every day because you think something's going to happen. Just know this. That's all. And I'm not saying don't get something on the go. We're not calling women bad for this. Just know that things can happen, so you have to be good regardless of what happens. You live in abundance. Because even if something happens, someone else is going to take her spot. Like this. Because there's already a bunch lined up waiting anyways. That's the thing. That's all I'm saying. And a lot of the time, <laughs> a lot of women will break you down bit by bit to take as much as they can get from you and go on to something new. That's a bad apple. That's something too you don't want to happen. Because it's going to leave you crushed. Because human beings can crush other human beings if that's our intentions. We could do it to one another if that's our intentions. So I'm just saying, even all men and women, you have to be very careful. You have to be very careful. Worst comes to worst for a woman, you're going to get your time wasted. You're going to get completely pumped and dumped. Years are going to go by and you're not going to get the commitment. So you're older now, so it's going to be harder for you to probably get a man of the caliber you just had. That's an L for you. An L for a man is to get a certain female, invest so much in her, invest so much time, invest so much energy, invest so much money, finances, all this other stuff. Let time go on. And it took so much from your life. And then it, it, they leave you stranded. So it's like, the life you could have built is not there because you invested so much time and resources into her and now she's gone and it put a big ass dent in your life because you didn't build it the way you probably should have because so much was invested into her and she's no longer there that is an l for a man or if you get married to her you get divorced half your shit 50 50 gun she gets half of what you work for half your house they cut your damn car in half. Not literally, but you get the point. They might even get the house from you. They might get half your finances. Whatever might happen, that is an L for a man. And we all want to avoid taking L's. That's going to put a huge dent in our life to the point of no return because things are that bad. Another L for a woman is having a child with the wrong man. And not even that, even if you're a single mother, it's not that you don't even love your child, but it's like the situation was not ideal. It went worse than it could have went. There's no doubt about that. That is an L for a woman all the way through. And even as a man, if you had to pay child support and all this, and it's like you're not even living a happy life with the woman you had a kid with, that is an L. So what do we want to do? We want to avoid L's and be as safe as humanly possible. That's what we want to do. And I'm just telling you guys full well, women are not designed to be loyal. They're not hardwired to be loyal just because they have to get their needs met. They have to get their needs met. They're going to do what's best for them. Sometimes they mess up. Sometimes they had something really good and they mess that up as well because they might have thought the grass was greener on the other side. Something else was better out there for them, but there wasn't. And now they can't get that back, so it's like they're in a messed up position. And now they're a bit older and they have to take lesser than what they had. Things happen. So I'm just saying, women are not designed, women are not hardwired to be loyal. Not that they, it's impossible that they can't be to you. 
as long as they're living a good life with you, things are good. Things are good on both ends. Something good could happen. But <laughs> they're not designed to be loyal. If, if something better comes about, you could live a happy life with her for 10, for 5, 10, 15, 20 years. And at some point, things could go wrong. So all I'm telling you guys to do is don't live with the mindset that nothing bad could ever happen. We're married. Nothing bad could ever happen. She's mine. It's forever. We're forever. Nothing is forever for one. So you have to remember these things. You have to. As long as she's reciprocating, re reciprocating value in the relationship, which women bring value to men in different ways that men bring value to women, it is different. As long as they show up in your life, they are present in your life, they treat you right, they give you some good value of things that you would like to have, you can give her value. But the second things start to get weird, the second that you feel something is not right, they're not bringing value, they expect more from you than you're giving to them, like a lot more, not just a little, like a lot more, because let's be real, Men are probably always going to provide at least a little more value than a woman is going to provide. And a lot of the times, a lot more value. But if they just stop effort, if they think their life should just be so easy in the hands of yourself, if your life starts to get worse because of her, you have to know something's up. So I'm just saying as a man, you have to be smart. You have to know the ins and outs, the ups and downs. You can't be a dummy. Like things have to be going precisely the right way. Because if they're not, you got yourself a lazy ass female on your hands and that is not what you want. You don't want no lazy ass woman. Their decision, they, they make lousy decisions. They're piss poor decision makers. They will ruin your life. Like one thing translates to the other, to the other, to the other. It takes work on both ends of the spectrum from men and women to make things work, to make things last, to keep the spark going in your 30s, 40s, and 50s, and so on. It takes work. Like you have to perform. You have to get up. You can't be lazy. That's unattractive. You have to do what you have to do. You got to get the up. And you have to be giving value in order to receive. You have to. Bro, even, even the richest men on earth, the Grand Cardones and stuff like this, they don't have lazy wives. They're not lazy. They're getting up. They're dressing up. They're looking cute. They're doing what they have to do on their end. And they're doing more than that. I'm just saying, like, they're getting up. They're in a good mood. They're in a good attitude. They're doing the damn thing. Even the richest men in the world don't have lazy wives. You cannot be that. You can't be a man in the position where you have a lazy wife and things are going to shit. They expect so much from you. They're gaslighting your mind, making you think you have to continue to do more for them. Steer clear from women like that. Steer clear. Because not only are they going to extract so much value from you, they're not loyal either. They will leave you eventually. They're playing with other men behind the scenes as well. Trust me, they are. Don't believe a word they say. <laughs> they're looking around with other men behind the scenes while they're extracting from you, looking for their escape route, looking for their es escape plan. You just, I just want you guys to be smart. That's all I'm saying. I'm not saying nothing can ever work out because it absolutely can. You just have to be smart. That's all I'm saying. That's literally it. Because they're not designed to be loyal just because. Just because you should to me. You should be loyal regardless of how I am as a man. You just should. Like, it's not reality. It's not how they are. It's not even how it should be. You should have your shit together yourself. You should have things going yourself. You should be able to bring value to the table. 
and reciprocating, she should be able to bring loyalty to the table because you bring these things to the table. And that's the reality of how things can work out. And even if you do bring value, it's, no, it's still no guarantee. So you just have to be smart enough and mindful enough to know these things. And not be so fixated on a fantasy of what you want to think. You can't. You're still human. They are still human. We're all human. Things can happen. Things can get very ugly. Things can get out of hand. You can trust yourself. But you never know about another human being. You never know what they're really thinking. Especially a female, because they're very covert. They're never going to tell you. And they're going to lie to you. Trust and believe they will lie to you. So you can't just think they're telling you the truth all the time either. Because they do things very covertly. They do things in ways to test you that you would never imagine. Almost everything. To, this is something else I have learned, bro. Like, they do some weird, weird shit to test you and you would never know. They do dumb things, bro. It's like they can make excuses to do things to you, to say things to you. Nothing looks at a place. It looks like they're talking to you normally, but they're still testing you. That's how crazy they are. And they're doing it because they have to. You just have to know that. Don't believe everything you're told by a female. Men are very direct. Like you, most of the time, you can believe what another man is telling you. Most of the time. When it comes to a female, bro, the way they conversate, it's, I'm feeling a certain way. I'm going to say this to see what he says about this. He's not going to know why I'm saying it, but I'm saying it. That's not direct. That's covert. You, you, like, they're doing things for a purpose. They're not being direct with you. They do things on purpose to draw reactions out of you, to see how you react when they say this. Like, bro, they can test you in the weirdest ways unimaginably just to see how you'll react, just to see what they can get from you, just to see about this, just to see about that. And it's just how they are. It still don't make them evil and sinister and all this, even though there are bad apples that go to the, to the extremes where to the point it, it's considered probably evil and sinister. But this is typically how all women are. I don't care what anybody says. It is what it is. Most of the time, they're not direct. It's not, it's not even that they can't be direct and it's impossible that they're never direct. Sometimes they can be. I mean, if they ask you what you want for supper, that's pretty direct. You say it, supper served. That's pretty direct. But it's like, you guys know what I'm talking about, bro. When it comes to a lot of things, you have to be careful, especially dealing with her in the beginning phases of shit. You just have to be careful. And you never know what they're doing behind closed doors. You'll never know. They're not going to tell you. You think they're going to tell you what they're doing? No. They're not. Because they do what they do. They're going to test you. They're testing other people. They're doing a whole bunch of crazy stuff that you don't even realize. So just be careful. That's the video. And <laughs> just be careful. Just know the truth. Because if you don't think this way, you, my friend, are fucking blue-pilled. Sorry to tell you, you are.